So this is Jorge Rivera with FirstCoast.tv. I find myself here with... McKenna Nelson. Okay, McKenna. Um, this is almost like a paranormal chapter here. Uh, we found some writings on the wall. What can you tell us about these writings? Um, so these are the old staff bedrooms in the Alcazar Hotel. So we found these writings while we were cleaning and restoring the rooms from when the staff lived here. They wrote things on the walls like um, the hours that they needed to work, the dates that the hotel was closing for the season, and even things like so-and-so was a pain in the back or so-and-so was a pain in the neck um, so that they could complain and personalize and uh, remember things that they needed to keep track of. Mm -hmm. And when you say staff, what, what, what kind of staff were they? Um, these were the, um, the white men and women that worked in the hotel. Mm -hmm. um, so there, there was a men's side and a lady's side and they lived up here um, while they worked seasonally in the hotel. Oh, and they did what? The, were they waiters? Were they, uh, they did the rooms? Um, all of the above. All of the above. Wow, wow. Now, what language are these writings in? Um, these are in Italian. Most of the uh, servers and the workers in the hotel were Italian and Irish immigrants. Oh, wow. So the writing that we have is in Italian. Wow, wow. How old is this writing? This writing is a hundred years old. Some of it is dated um, all the way back to 1917 or 1915. Yes, yes, I saw 1915, 1916. So yeah, we're in 2017. So yeah, 101, 102 years. Amazing, amazing. Do you think you'll find more writing or do you think that's that's about it right now? We could. Um, there's plenty of places. A lot of the writing has been is kind of hidden in closets because they weren't really supposed to be writing on the walls. Uh -huh. So we definitely could okay. find some more as we continue to restore and clean. Um, there are more more rooms with pictures left behind that people had glued to the walls. So, I mean, these were where they lived. So the more we look, the more I hope we'll find. Wow, wow. Well, I thank you very much. I find that so interesting, you know? It's like uh, gossip on the wall. <laughs> uh, thank you again. Thank you. I'm with... Elizabeth Graham. All right. And uh, you guys are going to have tours here soon. Yes. Uh, we will be starting a tour that we are titling Upstairs Downstairs okay. and it will be a reflection of this building when it was operating as the Alcazar Hotel. Mm. And so what's the flavor that people are going to get out of that tour? I, I would like for people to walk away with a better understanding of what it was like to be in a Gilded Era hotel. The technical time of the Gilded Era was, was gonna ask very that. short. Okay. It ran from about, I would say, the 1880s um, to right up until the Great Depression. The Great mm -hmm. Depression um, ended that very quickly. I bet so. So the party was over. <laughs> um, Literally. Yes, so it was in the grand scheme of, um, you know, uh, epochs it was it's pretty small but it also had a very large impact on american society and so will people get to see some of these writings on the wall these rooms we might not open these rooms but we do have a room where um when the hotel was kind of in its twilight years in the 1920s some of the female staff um, took cutting clippings from magazines and as most young girls do they put them on the wall mm -hmm. um, And so we've kept that room to really reflect the size of the room um, Two people would be billeted in every room So we've kept the sink we can show the closet so that people get a really good idea of what it was like to be a staff member here at the Alcazar. How long will that tour be? You think? The tour itself will be about 40 to 45 minutes of talking time, but we are moving through the entire building and then we do, um, we've left a nice um, cushion for Q&A because we want people to feel as if they've come to the Alcazar right. and they really walk away with a good understanding of not just the Alcazar Hotel, the Ponce de Leon Hotel, hotels in St. Augustine, as well as the whole um, generation of Gilded Era hotels. All right, and when will, when will this start? This, we will launch this tour in conjunction with our um, Dressing Downton exhibition, which starts in October. Okay. So we will be, um, we're in the process right now of writing it, revising it, training our tour guides, um, getting everybody comfortable with moving around the building quickly and efficiently. And 
That's gonna be huge. We're very, very excited. <laughs> and the night, one of the nicest things about it is that it is a very small group okay. for each tour. It's limited to 10 people per tour. So it's a very, you, you get a tour guide and you get a volunteer to come with you as the group. And so it's a very um, intimate look at the building itself and a lot of time for some really good in-depth information. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.